Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the upper room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is June 1st, 2021, Tuesday, and the theme of today's devotional is a, a broken world. The scripture is from Psalm 119 verses 1 through 16. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who keep his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart. Who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous ordinances. I will observe your statutes. Do not utter, utterly forsake me. How can young people keep their way pure? By guiding it according to your word. With my whole heart, I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart, so that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinance audience of my of your mouth i delight in the way of your decrees as much as in all riches i will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways i will delight in your statutes i will not forget your word amen Today's story is from T.L. who lives in France. It's broken. Tears streamed down my child's face as water poured out of his snow globe. And the world inside was destroyed. This small toy which had brought him so much joy could not be fixed, and now was a sole so, so, so source of sorrow. I think that this is probably a bit of how God feels seeing the brokenness of our world. But unlike my son's snow globe, our world isn't being thrown away. God has a plan to redeem it one that's already been put in motion through the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. My son's broken snow glove was edged with glass and too dangerous to be kept. Likewise, our world is filled with sin, which bring danger with it. But God does not abandon us. Today's verse makes it sound simple. Learn God's word and avoid sin. But while but while it may be simple, it's not easy. Although it's not always easy to get up early each morning to spend time with God, Every time I do my day is better for it. God's word, God's word helps us 
strong in faith and reassures us that God is redeeming the brokenness in this world. What do you see in the world? Can you see its brokenness? There are a lot of injustice and discriminations in the world. And we face it, we see it, and we are suffering from that. Many people are suffering and in pain because of injustice, wrongdoings, and also discriminations. There are war. There are dis uh, persecutions. There are people's oppressions. Lots of things making the world sick. Maybe God can see more. It's brokenness more and more. Because God can see people's minds, heart, and what's going on in the world. However, God does not give up us, the world, even though it is broken. Instead of giving up the world, God wants us, God wants to restore it. That is our mission as Christians, to transform the transformation of the world into the kingdom of God. Through God's love and God's grace. We are tempted to go on wrong ways when we see the people who do wrong things are well and the people who do wrong things look good. However, God wants us to go in God's ways. God wants us to go in God's will and design it. Because God is our God. God wants us to save us. And God wants us to go in the right ways. How can we make us pure? How can we go in the right ways all the time? The author, writer of today's devotional said, he do daily devotional every morning, spend time with God every morning. For that, he got up early. For that, he uh, takes at the time. I believe and I guess that he read the Bible. He pray. That would be the time uh, for spending, uh, for spending time with God. And we are doing the same thing. God's word is powerful. God's word is direction. God's word is the way we could, should follow. So we have this moment. I hope you and I take this time as our privilege as children of God and followers of Jesus Christ. So let's take this privilege. Let's take this opportunity to be with God. Through the Bible and prayer, we can see God's will and desire. Reading the Bible and praying to God, we can follow God and God's ways. Through this time, we can reflect ourselves on God's word which is the way of life. I hope you and I go in that ways whenever we have chance and whenever we have time. Please, please reflect ourselves, you and myself, on God's ways. God's word and God's will. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the gift of your word. Help us to grow in our relationship with you. Gracious God, we need you all the time. 
We need your direction. We need your guidance. And we find you're leading us. You are leading us through the word, through the Holy Spirit. Lord, many people are say busy. They are busy. However, we would like to follow you. And we'd like to take the time from you. And we know that that time is for us also. Lord, please give us your way. Please lead us. Go into your ways. Lord, we need you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and great, uh, great. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and take your time with God. Thank you. Bye bye.